Now, if you're a politician thinking of employing someone to give you advice, it's probably best to check out first whether they've said anything in the past that might turn out to be a bit embarrassing. A report this week said the government didn't carry out any checks on the social media activity of Toby Young, who had to resign from the university's regulator last month when his crude comments about women, among other things, came to light. And today is an advisor to a member of the shadow cabinet that's under the spotlight. She's called Munro Bergdorf, and she's been appointed to be an LGBT plus advisory group set up by the shadow women and equality secretary, Don Butler. She appeared on this week last year. This is what she had to say. The uncomfortable truth is that the white race is the most violent and oppressive force of nature on earth. My worry is that whatever governments do to tinker with institutional racism, it is so ingrained in the fabric of British society that it is too late to do anything about it. Barry Gunn, are you comfortable with having someone who says that the white race is the most violent and oppressive force of nature on earth? I, they certainly wouldn't have been words that I would have chosen, Andrew, but what they, I think what the point that she was making in the clip that you've just shown um, was that there is institutional racism and that this is something that we as a society... No, no, she went much attack. further than institutional racism. She said that racism was basically endemic inside every white individual. Do well, you agree with that? No, I, I don't agree with that. So why is she advising your shadow secretary? Well, I, I think it's not an official post and it's not a, it's not a paid post. Um, this that doesn't we, matter. We it's all an advisory have, role. We have groups of people that we seek advice from who are, uh, yeah. you know, leaders in their field. Um, this is somebody who is an oh. LGBT activist um, and as such advises on inequality in an informal So you listen capacity. to any sort of views at all if they're an activist? Well, what, what one I think has to do is one has to listen to a whole range of views. You don't necessarily agree with all of them. But what you do well, have to do, I think, if you're taking these issues seriously, is to understand why people express themselves in the way that they okay. do. And, and that, in, in this case, I would certainly, if, if I had uh, somebody saying those things to, to me in that role, mm. I would be saying, well, look, what is it that you're getting at here? All right. What is it about What is it she getting at then when she says that suffragettes were white supremacists? supremacists? Well, I, I don't know because I haven't interrogated her about it. Um, but certainly what I, would, what I would say is that there, there is a clear question about the, in, the way in which racism is structural in our society, and I think that's the point that she appears but it, to but be it's trying not to make. The, I mean, I've had not, the not in a way that I would her. do. Oh, well, there you are. But you it, may know better than but I. But it, is it wise to listen to someone, someone who is a product of middle class privilege herself, mm -hmm. to say that you can be homeless and still have white privilege? Um, I, I think it's uh, I think it's to confuse uh, quite seriously um, issues of uh, poverty, issues of um, uh, racism, um, in in trying to say that somebody who is homeless is. is I was still... always taught that racism was was a, a a smearing of a whole category of people that you said all people of this particular color or ethnic background or religion are like that uh, in a derogatory way. Aren't her descriptions of white people in themselves racist? Well, uh, she, is, she is painting everybody in the same terms and that I think is always an unwise thing to do. No, she's not painting um, everybody, she's just painting white people. Well, yeah, indeed, all, all within the class that she's the talking entire, about. The yeah. entire white people's yeah. entire existence is drenched in racism. Why, why did you interview her, Andrew? Why did you give her that prominence? Because this week is a programme which, uh, which likes to give people who may not get a view in the mainstream some views, but we didn't and, seek and, her and, advice, and, Barry and, Gardner. No, Your party no, 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 is no. seeking her advice. No, no sorry. The, uh, my it part, is. My party has said that there are a range of... And it's not my party, it's, it's the, that uh, my colleague has got a group of people who she from, has asked their views from. To give it, no, and, no, I've been asked no. to be part of an advisory board for the Labour Party to advise the well, Shadow it, Secretary of State for Women and Equalities, Don Butler. These are Munro Bergdorf's own words. She believes that being asked by Don Butler, she is advising through this advisory board 
through Don Butler, your party. Are you comfortable with that? The question is not what advice people give you. The question is what advice you take. And it's also trying to understand when people give you things that you think are totally wrong, understanding why they're saying what they're saying. Why would you seek advice of someone you think is totally wrong? What's the point of that? It's Surely you seek advice from people you think will have something to add to your policy it, formulation. In, in exactly the same way as you interviewed her in order to give an airing to the issues, it's important that people are able to express those uh, issues and you're able to deal with the Should she continue to advise Don Butler? Well, that's a matter for because Dawn because it's a it's a private situation. You don't it's sound not very comfortable Labour with Party. it. It's, it's a matter for Dawn because it is not, it's not a Labour but Party body that she is advising, all right? It, it is, it's a group around right. this, the, the But you will understand the difference between a TV programme letting somebody air their views, however much you may disagree with them, uh, and seeking advice from somebody, which is entirely but look, look, I, uh, different. I, I, go out, I go out to industry and I seek advice from all quarters of industry yeah. uh, about trade matters. I don't necessarily agree with all the advice, and in, in fact with many people I know that I probably right. but won't you're agree with you're seeking advice, advice from people who have a contribution to make to the debate. My, what I was trying to get to you and is you're saying that she doesn't. Views, does Are she you saying that she doesn't? Does she have a contribution to your policy formulation? Are you saying she doesn't? No, 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 no. I ask the questions. Make. Does she have a legitimate contribution to your policy formulation? I think if she's raising issues about the structural racism in well, society, we've been they that. are it's, serious issues. She thinks that we it's more than structural. She thinks it's endemic. She thinks it's in all of us. Well, there, I would uh, disagree. There, there. Uh,